Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I checked my car battery and my alternator so you can check yours if you need to. I work online, so I don't drive my car much. I drive it once a week or once every two weeks. I recently had to jumpstart my car to get to Home Depot, and then I also had to jumpstart it again to get back home. The next day, when I tried to start my car, this is what happened. The battery is discharged. The first step is to charge the battery. AutoZone will do it for free, but I also have my own battery chargers. I have a Noco Genius 3.5 amp charger and a 0.75 amp charger. Before charging the battery, I'm going to look for corrosion. Check for corrosion at the battery terminals, the alternator, the ground wires of your car. If there is any, remove it with sandpaper or a wire brush. Before charging the battery, I sanded the battery terminal posts with some sandpaper to ensure good contact. You can buy a fancy battery terminal post cleaner if you want to. I charged the battery for a couple of hours. Next, check your battery voltage. I checked the battery voltage with my multimeter. I set my multimeter to the 12 volt load test to get voltage readings. The load tester doesn't work, but it still gives us the voltage readings. On other multimeters, set it to DC volts, and if it has a specific number, 20. 12.3 volts. A fully charged battery should read 12.6 volts, but I'm impatient and this should be enough to start the car. Go ahead and reconnect the battery to the car. I have my multimeter leads connected to the battery post, the red lead with positive terminal and the black lead to the negative terminal. And I set the multimeter on my windshield so I can see it. Next, turn on your headlights for about one or two minutes before turning on the engine. If your battery dies with the headlights on, it's a bad battery. Headlights coming on right now. 11.8 volts, this should barely make it. This is the last step. As I turn on the car, let's watch the multimeter. If the battery voltage drops below 9.6 volts when the engine is cranking, then the battery is bad. Here we go. Our battery is good. I know a lot of people are gonna think that I have a bad alternator. So let's check the alternator. The alternator is like a generator. As it spins, it generates electricity. So when your engine is running, the drive belt spins the pulley on the alternator and makes electricity, and that electricity recharges the car battery. The battery is wired to the alternator, so by checking the voltage at the battery terminals, you can see if the alternator is recharging the battery. Eric the car guy says that in order for the alternator to recharge the battery, the alternator needs to supply at least 0.5 volts higher than the battery voltage. Remember, a fully charged car battery with the engine off, of course, will measure about 12.6 volts. With the engine running, the battery voltage should read at least 13.1 volts. We have 14 volts. That means that our alternator is recharging the battery. To ensure that the alternator is good with the engine running, we're gonna have to turn on the radio, turn on your headlights and other accessories, and the voltage at the battery may drop, but it should not drop below 13.1 volts. Let's turn on the headlights. Air conditioning. Good. One last test is making sure that the alternator is not overcharging the battery. With the engine on, accelerate up to 2000 RPM and the voltage of the battery should go up, but it should not go over 15.5 volts. Okay, our alternator is good. It's not overcharging and it's not undercharging. To prevent corrosion of the battery terminals, go ahead and spray some silicone spray on your battery terminals. You can charge your car battery without disconnecting the battery terminals. The battery chargers that I have are old. They're about six years old and they have updated versions, which I will link in the description of the video. To avoid sparks when disconnecting the battery, first remove the negative battery terminal and second remove the positive terminal. When connecting the battery terminals, connect the positive terminal first and second, connect the negative terminal. 
When testing the alternator, you need to make sure that you have a fully charged battery. Don't test your alternator if you have a bad battery. Another way to confirm that your alternator is charging your battery is to look for your battery light on your dashboard. The battery light will turn on when the alternator is not charging the battery. When you turn on your car and the battery is being charged, the battery light will turn off. If that light stays on and your car is running, that means something is wrong with the charging system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.